What's shaking its bacon? And once again, I'm here with my boyfriend playing Inferno Clash. And the Inferno modifier, I think I'll call it, is a lot of fun to me. I'm a big fan of it because everything's so unpredictable. Like, look at here. Look at here. We got a groundhog coming here early trying to tell us it's spring. And I'm trying to run and uh, I get stopped. But that's whatever. It's how the game mode is. Everything's unpredictable. Hell, even this map was unpredicted because I don't play this map very often. I like it a lot, but I don't get to play it much. And there are a lot of maps in the rotation that I don't get to touch. I remember there's this one map. I don't even remember the name of it because I've only played it about, say, four times. And all those times, it was a long time ago. And that was when I realized how beastly truth really is. I mean, that there was a guy just sniping with truth across the map. That thing would follow me. And that's just how the rotation works because we have so many maps. And I want to talk about maps and being unpredictable a little bit here. Because with the Taken King DLC, we're getting a ton of new maps for Crucible. I don't remember the exact number, but I know it's on the hefty side. And it kind of got me thinking, what's going on? Why don't we get to preview the maps beforehand? I mean, that hasn't been the case with any of the expansions, really. Like, why can't we see what's going on? And I look at this. I don't even get to see what's going on here. This man is a teleporting wizard, but okay. So yeah, we don't get to preview the maps and I think that's somewhere that Bungie is faltering and why don't they do that I don't quite understand because the thing about Destiny is it doesn't have map packs it has expansions other FPS all the other FPS that it competes with I'd say have map packs and they kind of live off that so they do previews of the maps and show people the ins and outs and the creative standpoint that they had making them and Bungie they don't focus on the maps at all I mean me being a PvP exclusive player for the time being it's like why don't I get to see what I'm paying for because this is the majority of what I'm paying for is are the maps just not worth it are they not good enough for me to see beforehand or something it's not like it's a spoiler like, say, story missions or anything like that. It's just content that I should be able to see because I'm going to play it all the time. And I think that that's, a, that's something that Bungie is just missing out on because they could really take advantage of that. All their competitors do map packs. They all do map packs, so that's their focus. But we have expansion. It's a ton of content on top of adding new maps to the game, new ways to play. So if they were to highlight their maps, then it would just be like, oh my gosh, they have so much in this game. That's how new players would think. They'd be like, wow, not only do they have map packs, but they have new guns, new strikes, new raids, new everything. It's like a new game every time they make an expansion. And the game I like to play within the game is Crucible. So to be able to play more of that and have fun with it would be great. I'd love if they showed some support to the maps that they make. Because I'm sure there's a team behind it that is just like, why are we not getting any focus? Give us a video or something like that of the maps being focused on i'd like to see the ins and outs and we do get footage don't get me wrong we get footage of look at this all this game i'm just getting killed by supers but yeah we get footage of some of the maps maybe one or two but that's from like say booths or whatever and that's footage that actual players are getting it's nothing official i'd like to see something official because people new players are going to tend to you know, move towards what's official and see, okay, this is a trailer that they made for the content that I feel like buying right now. Let me check that out 
and then I'll move on to people like Bacon Bread who make videos about it. I mean, that's how it should play out, and I feel that Bungie's just not doing their job in that regard. They're kind of limiting themselves, because I, even though I already have the game and everything, I want to see what I'm paying for. It's a big expansion, and it's not just this expansion that we need to see this. This is something that should be happening with all the expansions. I don't understand why they've never really done this. I mean, they've even showed off Patrol, like saying all the creative genius that came when making Patrol. Okay, nice, cool, but we play a lot more Crucible and play on these Crucible maps a lot more. And look at my boy Finn just dominating. Look at that. Oop. Snipers. You see, I remember there were huge maps where snipers were just posted up like that. Way in the back. And just enjoying themselves. But now, we don't really have big maps like that in the most popular game modes. Like Control or Clash. Or even Rumble. Because it's just too spacious and... It leads to plays like that. I don't know. I like I like a mix. I'd like to mix up my style, but we don't really get to know which map is coming out next, which which map we're going to be playing on next, really. We don't get to plan ahead of time. So it's not like we can switch our builds up, but that's all I got for this. Tell me what you guys think. Do we need to see the maps before we buy them? And do you want some more interesting maps, like long range maps? How do you feel? Because I want to talk more about that, maybe in another video. How do you guys feel about long maps, like huge maps? Thanks for watching. I hope you'll like, subscribe, all that jazz, and I'll catch you in the next one.